and this is the Ningbo Focus. It's September in Ningbo, and you know what that means. Back to school season is here. So I decided to catch up with some new students, returning students, and even the teachers to see what they're doing to prepare for the upcoming semester at Nottingham University in Yinjo. First, let's check in with resident Nottingham historian, Tess, to learn a little about what makes Nottingham so special. I met Tess a couple of days ago, and she just couldn't stop talking about all these Nottingham facts. So when I decided to do the show here, I thought she could be our Nottingham resident historian. <laughs> Tell me something that I didn't know before about Nottingham. Well, the University of Nottingham Ningbo, China was the first foreign university to open its doors in China. Well, did you know it's a collaboration between two universities? The University of Nottingham in the United Kingdom mm -hmm. and local university Wanli Education Group. In the 10 years since we were founded, since 2004, we've come a long way. We started off with around 300 mainly Chinese students, whereas nowadays we have almost 6,000 students from all over the world. I was telling you before that there's three types of people preparing for this school season in September. There's returning students, there's teachers, and there's the new student. New students are really interesting because they're coming from all over the world to see Ningbo for the very first time. Yesterday, I joined up with them as they took a special tour around a couple of really interesting places in Ningbo. Students are lined up outside of Entrance 3 at Nottingham, and they're going to get an important first look at Ningbo. And we've got uh, a special tour guide with us. What's your name? My name is Joy. Joy. What's the first stop on our tour of Ningbo? Um, the first stop is La Wai Tan. The buses are loaded with new students from all over the world. How are you doing? I'm very cool. Uh, what's your name? My name is Alois Gavers. I'm coming from Tanzania. How are you doing? Uh, fantastic, thank what's you. What's your name? Yaros. Nice and where are you from, Yaros? Oh, <laughs> I was born in Russia. I grew up in Spain. I live in Scotland. Never been in China before? Never, never. I wanted a culture shock. And so I kind of picked the furthest place I could think of. It's amazing. I love it here. It's, um, it's been a blast so far, and it's only getting better. What's your name? Uh, Aikyu. And you know some Chinese. Shi. Shi. It's, it's really amazing sitting on a bus with a bunch of first timers to even China. They're all exchanging, hey, do you know what Ni Hao and, and Jiu Dian and all these different things. It's, it's really exciting. I'm walking through the crowds, all these new students talking about all sorts of experiences. And you know, I met this guy earlier. He knows your show. Where are you from? I'm from Libya. What's your name? Abdullah. What, what the life there in Nimbo. And I found your videos. I mean, you guided me. You guided me to the right place. Thank you so much. That's cool. That's cool. I, I've watched all your videos before coming here. Really? Yeah. What's your name? Kainat. Kainat. Yes. And what's your major? Um, I'm in international studies. So what episodes have you seen of the Ningbo Focus um, Show? I saw the one where your sister, this is so creepy, I'm sorry, but where your sister was here and you got like custom made dresses and everything. What episodes have you seen? What's well, almost every episode, you know, I, I watched them all, you know. <laughs> what is your name? I see ya. One word impression of Ningbo. Uh, fascinating. Fascinating. Yeah. Nice, nice. I love Ningbo. <laughs> Ningbo, in one word, what would it be? Um, <laughs> vast at the moment, I think. Vast. Joining a group of students that are new to Ningbo and seeing their reactions to what this city has to offer for the first time is really an amazing experience. Behind me is the International Students Residence. Let's meet a couple of the students that are returning from all over to enjoy Nottingham. So we're looking at some returning students to Nottingham and I met up with a really special one. This is Felix. Felix, what's your major? Uh, my major is International Communication. It's my third year now. Now there's something really special about Felix. How big are you, Felix? It's about two meters, maybe. He's one of the few guys that I look up to, literally. 
Maria, how are you? Nice to see you. <laughs> Maria has been a long time friend of mine. How long have we known each other? Three, four years or so. Three or four. God, I've been in Ningbo a long time. She <laughs> is a returning resident. Actually, you're getting your PhD, right? Exactly. So cool. But she's going to show us what an international student's lifestyle is like by showing us her room. Is it clean enough? I think so. Yes. All right. Let's take a look. This is not your room, this is the kitchen. Ah. Or the bathroom? Or the bathroom yeah, in the kitchen? The cooking area and the bathroom inside. Okay, okay, it's well put together. Very colorful. I love the color scheme. I am studying uh, strategic decision making. How many more years do you have until you have your PhD? Two years only. <laughs> Jayel. Okay, we're going to take a look at some of the teachers now and see what they're doing to prepare for this semester at Nottingham. Hey, Penny. Hi, Matt. How are How's you? Going? What a surprise. It's been a long time. It has been a long time. Yeah. When did you get back to Ningbo? Well, I just arrived a, a few weeks ago because we are going to start preparing the semester. I've been in Nimbo for a long time. Okay. Uh, so I've been working in the University of Nottingham six years already. <laughs> and I, I came as a, a Spanish teacher. Okay. So I teach Spanish here at the university. Spanish is a very popular language, not only here in the university, mm -hmm. but among Chinese people. You wouldn't believe it, but we have students that have learned Spanish in two years. Okay, so now I'm here in the engineering department of Nottingham, and I'm joined by James. Hi. Okay, well, I'm a lecturer of civil engineering, mm -hmm. and uh, where we're standing now is, is the main atrium uh, in our engineering building. Well, when we first came here, there were only three lecturers, uh, and now our department has actually grown up to about 60 lecturers, and we've got over a thousand students. Why don't we take a step away from here and show me one of the other interesting areas at the Nottingham engineering department. Sure. Let's okay. go. Okay, so now we are, I don't know, where are we, James? Oh, well, we're in the engineering high bay area, okay. and what we're standing on right now is the strong floor. You're preparing students to start breaking things and, and really get active yeah. with engineering. That's right, yes. Well, you know what? Right now, we're going to go and have our own little class, okay. and I'm going to teach some students how to speak Ningbo Hua. Would you be interested in learning some Ningbo Hua, James? Yes, of course. All right, let's go to class. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> hey, everybody. Today, we're going to do a very special Ningbo Hua class, because I actually have a Ningbo Hua class. Go figure, it's Nottingham University. Okay, so we're gonna learn some university terms, some school terms in Ningbo Hua. Now, first, I would like to introduce myself as a teacher. I would say, Mozu Mo Lao Su. You would say, Mo Lao Su. Good, okay. You are new students. Nao Su Xing Sa. But you would say, now, you are always going to class. Just like a teacher, I gotta go to class too. Ngo yo sao ko chi. yo sao ko chi. Very cool. Now, you can congratulate yourselves because you speak a little Ningbo Hua. But you need to tell somebody that you speak a little Ningbo Hua in Ningbo Hua, right? What's the use of being able to speak a little Ningbo Hua if you can't tell somebody in Ningbo Hua? In Ningbo Hua, you would say, Ngo wai go ingingi ningbo eyo. Okay? So we'll try and say it really slow. Ngo wai go ingingi ningbo eyo. Okay? Let's say it together. One, two, three. Ngo wai go ingingi ningbo eyo. Now you can tell somebody in Ningbonese, I speak. 
Ning Bo Hua. Okay, very good class. Class is now over. In Ning Bo Hua, you'd say, Lo Kao. Congratulations, guys. You now speak a little Ning Bo Hua. Give yourself a hand. If you are a foreign lady in Ningbo, then I sure hope you know the Ningbo Foreign Ladies Group. With over 80 members and growing, this eclectic and diverse group of women gather together regularly to support, help, and assist one another inside our Ningbo community. They recently held one of their monthly ladies lunch events at the new Yinjo Ikea and it was a roaring success. Ladies were in attendance representing all parts of the world, celebrating the diversity of our international community. The ladies' lunch is held on the second Tuesday of every month, and you can check their schedule on their website to find out when and where the next meeting will be. The Ningbo Foreign Ladies Group aims to connect the expat women living in Ningbo, relocated expats, and those women overseas who are considering life as an expat in Ningbo. This has been Matthew, wishing you all a wonderful mid-autumn holiday.